Thanks, Justin. In this week's edition of Authors Revealed, I sat down with New York Times bestselling author Sue Grafton. In W is for Wasted, the 23rd book in her award-winning series, Kinsey Milhone is back trying to solve a mystery that will force her to dig into her past. So what is it about this character that for the, has keep everybody coming back and back and back, year after year after year. I and mean, what is it about her that you think it is? People tell me it's like you're running, getting a letter from your old college roommate, or a letter from your sister, or your eccentric aunt, you know? It, I think she represents some, I think people project themselves into this character. So people fall in love with themselves through her. I think she's unpretentious, she's down to earth, and she just tells it like it is. So each letter stands for something else. So what is wasted? What are we? What is W standing for? Well, wasted. I'm talking in part about the homeless and about drug addiction and alcoholism. A really cheery subject, you know, that we all appreciate. Um, and it is about the waste of some human lives. And it's a literally the word wasted means drunk as a skunk, you know. So. It's a way of playing around with the language. Now you have a very loyal fan base that's been with you for the past 40 years. Yeah. Um, clearly, they're all here today. Yeah. So how do you keep making sure that the older ones are coming back but still generate a newer audience as well? My job is to write a good book, tell a good story, keep Kinsey Mulhone honest. And I don't, again, I don't calculate. I don't think, ooh, you know, I'm gonna do this and I'll get the 60 year olds in. But, you know, people, if people wanna read good books, I'm here to help them, <laughs> you know. So what are some things then that if you want people to take away with your books and, and your kind of underlying message that you would like to leave for all of your fans, what would it be? Well, my main message is quit killing people. You know? <laughs> get your meds adjusted. Get into therapy. I mean, I don't get it. I'm fascinated by the criminal mind, and I don't understand why people cross that line. But basically, I like to look at human nature, and I think of crime as a as a boiling point. It intensifies everything. I think basically we're interested in justice, we're interested in right and wrong, and there's something about being able to look at the dark side of human nature for the, from the safety of your armchair. So I think there's sort of a vicarious thrill that goes down. If you're interested in the full interview with Sue Grafton, visit nctv17.com for a list of airtimes.